What's up YouTube? Ryan with the Journal 82 channel here and I'm on the Aoster Motor S7G e-bike. This is the 750 watt rear hub drive e-bike and I'm out here on the road. I'm gonna give you guys a top speed test uh, on the road and on, gra and on some uh, grass and gravel. We're gonna see what this thing will do. You can make a judgment on if 750 watts is enough for you. Hey guys, Aoster Motor S7G 750 watt hub drive e-bike. We're gonna do a speed test here. I'm first gonna show you pedal assist. I'm gonna apologize, there'll be a little wind noise. So pedal assist one is gonna put you in around, it's giving me around 350 watts, 300 to 400 watts. And just gently pedaling, I'm in sixth gear. Go, let's go ahead and go up to seventh gear. I'm traveling 13 miles an hour. Let's go to pedal assist two. You can feel it really kick in. 700 and 800 watts. I'm going uphill a little bit now. That's putting me at 19 miles an hour. Maybe more. 20 miles an hour. Let's turn around and do pedal assist three. Yeah, guys so there is a bit a pretty big difference between pedal assist one and two uh and then after that you know it's not going to be a whole lot of difference in the pedal assists um let's do a uh let's do a start now and we'll see what the top speed is from just using the half twist throttle uh, now this twist throttle just kind of overrides any wattage from the pedal assist so it's just going to give you you know full power doesn't matter what mode you're in if you're twisting that throttle you're going to get that power so we're going to start off right here oh. all right so we're going to start off right here at zero and we're going to see what we can get to up here. we got about a quarter mile to that overpass. Keep in mind, I'm about 215 pounds, 5 foot 11. 15 miles an hour. 18. 21 miles an hour. 23. We're starting to go uphill a little bit. 28 let's do it one more time from a stop 215 pounds
right guys so on on pavement we were able to get the aoster s07g to about 28 miles an hour i got it up to 28 and a half there for a second um, but it really wants to stay between that 26 and 28 miles an hour which is plenty fast enough let me tell you it this bike is actually more stable on the road than most other bikes i've ridden that are way faster because it's got these four inch fat tires it's just pretty amazing let's see what we can get out here in the field all right oster motor s7g from a stop here we go full throttle little incline right here 15 miles an hour Get around this turn and into the long straight and we'll see what we can get over this dirt it's pretty bumpy So on the dirt, we were able to give it to about 22 miles an hour. This is a hay field. It's pretty rough, rugged. Um, there's a lot more friction and resistance on the wheels and tires and the motor than there is out on the uh, pavement. So there you go, guys. The Oster Motor S7G, a very affordable do-it-all e-bike. I got the four inch fat tire going to be good in sand, gravel, ice, uh, 750 watt motor, um, you know, really good bike it's gonna go 26 to 28 um, you know if you're a lighter person you probably get 30 out of it on the pavement and no sweat getting 20 off-road so hope that helps some of you guys out see you in the next video